This video in Game Lab shows how to make a game over screen. So for example, I have the simple little game where I'm controlling the bunny, and every time I touch the cow, I get a point. So what if you wanted to win the game at five points? Well, first what you want to do is locate where the score is updating. Notice that it's inside the draw loop, which is this green part, this big green chunk. So we're updating the score here. If the bunny is touching the cow, then move the bunny back where he started, and then update the score by one. In that same location, right below that if, you're going to add another one. And this one's going to check for a value. So um, you can do this with a math block, or you can just type it in. But let's say if a score the score is greater than four, meaning the score is five, uh, then you want to do something, right? So uh, first, what we'll do just to make sure that it's working is we will do a console log, and that's in the variable section. So we'll just say you win. And all that's going to do is just pop up that message down here in the console to make sure that it's working. So let's reset, run. There's one, two, three, four. And now it's greater than four, and you can see this you win message popped up over and over and over. So we know that this is working and it's reading. So we can pull this out and actually do what we want to happen. So what we probably want to do is. Uh, just write you win on the screen, so you can do that with text. You could also draw some art that says you win, but just stick it right there on the screen. And this is going to be its x position, so 0 is right up here. This will be its y position, so a y position of 15 would be about right there. Um, so let's see if it works. Actually, you know what? I already know it's going to work. Let's make it bigger. So let's get a text size and put it above that, maybe 30, and let's center it a little bit. 200 is the center of this area, but I want it, if we put it at 200, it'll flow off to the right, so we'll just put it a little bit less than that. And we'll go again. Okay, so you win did pop up, but my characters are still there and the game continues. So typically, if you're playing a real video game, uh, once you get to an end screen, your, your characters are gone. So let's make them disappear when it says you win. Uh, so we're going to grab a sprite visible and stick it in there. And we'll do one of them for the cow and one of them for the bunny. So cow.visible. Bunny, but this would be whatever your sprites are named, of course. And right here you can put false or you can put zero. Either way, this is just a boolean. Um, if the visibility is false, then you won't see them. If the visibility is true, then you will see them. Let's reset it. And for testing purposes, why don't we just shrink this number down to two? That way we don't have to go so far. So when the score hits three, we should see this in action. And now you can see that they're gone. And that's how you do it. 